Holy shit, she going crazy though! Hold up! Woo! Fucked him up! Hell yeah! Dodging bullets? Oh my day, she a badass, bro. Hold up! And the titty jiggles, bro! Yo! <laughs> What's good, YouTube? Yo, all right. Yo, Sandlot Zone Zero has released the first new character for 1.2. It's 1.2, right? Yeah, it's 1.2. Okay. Just have to fact check it. All right. Anyway, um, Caesar. Caesar is uh, a character. Uh, if you watched my review on the whole uh, breakdown of 1.2, uh, you kind of already know my opinion about this, for the majority of you guys probably haven't. But let me just fill you in, okay? Uh, I have not been a fan of the characters that have been releasing lately. I don't think Caesar is very interesting. That might change, you know? That might change. That was on face value, you know? Only like snippets of her personality have been, sp have been seen in that uh, video. So maybe I'll change my mind throughout this video. Um, but... I'm not very impressed. Um, I was under the stupid assumption that she lost a arm. Holy shit, I haven't seen her. And she is this, bro. She doesn't have an arm. Uh, I mean, she, she lost an arm. Oh, that's badass. Holy shit, she, she showed her whole punani, bro. Like that ass, bro. Look at this shit. Boom. Full in display. I dumbass didn't see that she had a robot arm because I was distracted by her poom poom, bro. <laughs> Unbelievable. Um, that was my fault. I take full responsibility for that stupidity, but that's still disappointing to me. But outside of that, I'm gonna go into this video or these videos actually, uh, with a positive mindset. All right, because if I go in with a negative mindset, I'm definitely gonna hate it. Uh, so I'm gonna think positively, you know, take the good out of the bad, and just you know, don't be too critical. I'll, I'll try to be a little bit less critical, okay? I'll just, I'll just be here like I'm just enjoying a nice walk through the woods or some shit, okay? So yeah, here is the character demo for Caesar. Let's go. Alright. Poor turtle. Poor bamboo. Okay, okay. Ooh, okay, this fu this fire. This is pretty cool. I like that. Damn, she got like uh grappling hooks and all that? Okay. Bro. Bro. Bro, listen. This guy is the star. Honestly, this guy is the star. If this guy releases. He better not be a four star, bro. I'm gonna be pissed. Anyway. Damn, bro. They're cleaning house. Yeah, you see, like, I'm not, I'm not gonna, like, be too long on this whole subject, but, like, why in the fuck did they design this character with one sleeve just hanging like some fucking Shanks type beat? They just wanted to evoke this. Like, I don't know, intention or like idea that she lost a limb. I mean, she kind of did, but she has like a animatronic arm, a, a robot arm, you know? So she kind of doesn't, but she kind of does at the same time, you know? Like, it, it's, it, I don't know. That, yeah, I don't know, whatever. Yeah, beat him up. Oh, that was clean. Oh, damn. Jumping on that? That's crazy. Ooh, what is that? Boom. Okay. Okay. God damn. These cinematics are crazy. Holy shit, she going crazy though! Hold up! <laughs> Woo! Fucked him up! Hell yeah! Dodging bullets? 
Oh my day, she is badass, bro. Hold up. And the titty jiggles, bro. Yo. Look at them. God damn, bro. That's crazy. That was kind of wild, I'm not gonna lie. Glad that's over with. What? Why am I looking at a shower scene? Deal. We're all ladies. Let me borrow that hair wash of yours. You know, the one that smells nice. Huh? Excuse me. That's the newest shampoo from Carliche. It's made for classy ladies like me. <laughs> okay. I mean, that just looks like a couple sisters, you know, hanging around, just doing, uh, you know, you know, doing sister stuff or like. Friend stuff, right? I guess. I don't know. Honestly, I don't see myself showering with my boys. Yeah, no, I'm not. I don't think so. <laughs> anyway, that was the character demo. Um, bro, listen. Honestly? I don't- I still think her gameplay is not that interesting. Uh, but however... I do think that her, she she is she is quite a badass. I think that that point has been proven by this fight scene alone, bro. This was insane. Like she bodies motherfuckers left and right, like no effort. Look at this, slice, slice, slice. God damn, bro, dodging bullets, all that. Oh, that sneak kill. I didn't even see that before. She picks up a gun and literally shoots somebody in the head. Here, look. She didn't even look. God damn, bro. So, yeah. Um, that aspect, I think she's she's quite the badass. I was definitely wrong on that, uh, that part. And, you know... I'm an honest guy, you know? When I'm wrong, when I'm, I'm wrong, you know? I'll admit I'm wrong. But um, I'm not, still not fully convinced. I'm still not like, oh yeah, I'm definitely now gonna summon for her. You know, that that's like the whole thing. Especially in Sandstorm Zero, because they, get, they give you like so little fucking currency, man. Like, Star Wars is kinda generous. Like, if you, you know, spend hours doing side quests. But the side quests in Star Wars are relatively easy to do, right? I can, I can stomach that. But the side quests in Sunstone Zero are just tedious, boring bullshit. So I, I pretty much haven't done any of them. But um, yeah, I mean, that's Caesar, bro. She hot. She badass. She cool. Overall, she... Yeah, I, I think I have a better grasp on her personality. I think that's it. Yeah, yeah. Better grasp on her personality. Uh, with that being said, let's hop into the character teaser. All right. Get too down. The vehicle recycling plant has been engulfed by hollow. And 500 people Heave. lost their jobs. Go. The blaze was Heave. Go. Uh, they pulled this thing out of the hollow. It's heavy enough. I thought it could fetch a good price. Man, what a useless piece of junk. Who said it's a useless piece of junk? Mm -hmm. uh, Caesar. Oh, it's a piano. You know what this wooden box thingy is? How do you not know what a piano is? I don't care how poor you are. You're gonna know what a piano is, bro. What the fuck? Big Daddy, why do we have nothing here? Besides rocks, all we got is Bangboo that don't move, useless adults, and the Outer Ring friendship just... Who <laughs> got you that? I'm bored. Look over there, you fool. Oh, this is young Caesar. She's cute as fuck. Do you know what that is? Piano. Is that a p piano? No, wait. A piano? That hunk of junk's not worth anything. <laughs> You're not wrong. Hmm. Even though it's made of wood. That piano girl must have come from the city. 
Must have been scammed out of all her Denny's. Little Miss, you should have stayed at home. <laughs> hey, city girl. Out of rings not what you expected, huh? It isn't easy being out here. Want me to take you back? This piano thing. Is it hard? What do you think? So of course it's hard. I've been your host, John huh? Jenny. What's going on in the square? Someone found a piano in the hollow. This place definitely isn't what I expected. Oh, what? That's... The other girl. You know... I've I've got the name. Expected, but any place that still has music must be richer than it appears. The Outer Ring, this place with nothing, is a land that humanity reclaimed from the grips of the Hollows. It's a, a land, land that, that belongs, belongs to hope. This useless piece of junk was wrestled back from the brink of disaster by humanity. It is the very soul of freedom. So, we're not left with nothing. <sighs> that was amazing, Caesar! Is it hard to play? Nope. I'll teach you when I get back from the Torrid Inferno. Okay, so it was just... Piano? I might be simplifying it, but like... I understand the message, I guess, you know, like, oh, music brings people together, brings hope, blah, blah, blah. Honestly, I don't have anything else to say about it, so let's hop into the, the EP, aka the music, all right? So, the music of episode or videos have been uh, interesting lately. Uh, they always, like, have a lot of underlying lore all of a sudden, so, yeah, let's see. Also, the visuals are always stunning. They just had to, like, show her feet, didn't they? I know. I know all your verse. I know. I know what you're doing. Okay? I know. Oh, what? It's like the Bishojo like, kind of girl art style. Oh, I like it. I like it. I can hear all the lesbian girls' hearts break when they just realize that she is straight. <laughs> that brings me joy, not gonna lie. Always these people like, oh look, she's a badass woman, she must be lesbian because she's so masculine. No bitch, she's just straight, alright? <laughs> Hoyaverse, yet again, proving that they just should make a fucking anime at this point, man. Make a Star Wars anime, make a fucking, uh, Impact anime, make a fucking Zenlazon Zero anime, make a... What else do they have? That's it, right? They have three games. I think so, yeah. They just, just, just make, make fucking anime, bro. Just like, at this point, or like a fucking TV show or whatever, man. Just do some. I do something, man.
Also, I feel like people are gonna misjudge. Like, oh, look, she got king in her hair. She must think she's a man because she she calls herself a king instead of a queen. No, shut up. All right, shut up. Just shut up. I swear to fuck, shut up, bro. Shut up. I can hear the Twitter fucking morons, retards already fucking screaming about. Oh, look, she must be trans because they got king in her hair, not queen. God, I hate this. I hate the side of community, bro. Those pajamas are cute as fuck. Oh, it was all the story. She was reading. <laughs> she was reading it. Hopefully not while driving. Probably not. Oh, look. <laughs> look. <laughs> oh, what's her name? The fire chick. <laughs> look at her smiling, bro. She all like embarrassed. That's pretty cute. That's pretty cute. Very adorable, not gonna lie. Alright, well, that was uh, all the Caesar stuff. Honestly, I still don't think she's that very special. Which is the opinion of most of these uh, characters in Sentinel Zero, in my opinion. Um, I don't know why they made like such great personalities in the first game or at the start of the game with um... God, I'm bad at names. <laughs> like Nicole and Billy, you know, like it's a shame that they are four stars and that they're not that powerful. I hope they can return eventually in the game um, as like five star characters uh, because I think those they, those two definitely deserve a five star character. I think Nicole and Billy are like very intriguing characters, very likable as well. The other ones are just, I don't know, man. They feel very watered down. They don't very feel like, I don't know. I don't know. I, don't, I just don't have any connection with them. And I'm not like saying like any parasocial stuff or anything like that. No, I'm just like, normally whenever I see a character, I'm like, yes. I fucks with that character. Like, let's for example take Watering Waves, which also doesn't have the greatest character selection in my opinion. Alright, I'm not gonna glaze over Watering Waves and like roast Zenzone Zero. No, alright. I have the same criticisms for both games. Uh, Yinlin. Right? Yeah, Yinlin. The, the Fire Witch. Uh, she... I instantly liked her. Instantly. And when I did her side story, I was like, yes, even better. Same with Kelcharo. Insi liked her. Same with Gion. Insi liked him. Wait, did I say her for Kelcharo? Kelcharo is a, is a guy, not a woman. Him. <laughs> Insi liked him. Same with Gion. Insi liked him. But the other ones? No. And same thing with like, uh, Zenith of Zero. Uh, Ellen Insi liked her. Very intriguing character. A bunch of like, sh like she had, was a half shark. Um, she had like a cold personality that, that for some reason I really liked. But then like, uh, characters like Suyon came out, and Shinshi came out, and Jane. I kind of only, I only summoned for Jane because her playstyle looked really good, looked, like fun. Uh, it, it's pretty, it's pretty okay. It's, it's better than what I used before. Uh, and now, I mean, Caesar. I mean, yeah, she cool gal. I'm, I'm not gonna deny that. But it's just... I don't know, man. And, bro. I don't know if... I, uh, the video is gonna be way too long, but I just, I just need to, like... Just do this real quick. Hold on. I got a shit ton. And I'm, I'm saying, like, a shit ton of comments on my Sentinel Zero 1.2 reaction video, alright? So... So, three days ago, this one from uh, Miku Hatsume. Uh, if you don't like it, don't play it. You know, quit exists. Yeah, that's the dumbest thing ever, alright? Because I like other aspects of the game. I just don't like the majority of the game. But I know there's some potential in this game that I know they could harvest. Uh, here's another one, nice guy. 
my friend, it's simple. If you don't like the direction of a game is going, simply do not play. Especially if you don't think the devs are going to listen to you. I think they are. I think they can. I think they just have to need some time uh, to, like, get things in order, all right? I think if they keep, like, uh, bringing out carrots that are more interesting, they're going to be way better than now. Uh, everyone's entitled to their opinion, man, but I have a question. If you don't like the game, why... See, this This is always the same thing. It always comes out. If you don't like the play game, why play it? Well, guess what? I like gacha games. Okay? That's first and foremost. I'm going big on this one. I like gacha games, alright? I like gambling. Okay? Even though I don't buy, like, real... Like, uh, real stuff. I don't really use my money other than on Doka nowadays. Or, or now and then. But I, majority, I'm not even dolphin at most games. Like, I, I'm, I'm like, free to play on all of them. But I just like gacha games. I like being able to, like, log into a game, do some things, or just don't do anything. Just do lailies and just fuck off. And also, like I said, I've said this plenty of times in my streams when I played uh, Sandless of Zero, which I beat the story, alright? And I'm gonna play the new story today, probably, on stream, so... You know, if you, uh, if you watched it, very cool, very cool. Um, so yeah, it's not the problem that I don't like the game. I like the game. I like the story. I like the, the, the whole, like, narrative and all that. You know, how the characters interact with each other. I like that shit. I just don't think the gameplay is fun. I just don't think the characters are that engaging uh, on their own. And it's just, I don't know. It's, I just don't, this is a really feel thing normally i'm like f more like not on like the feel kind of things but i think on this particular subject feeling something about these characters is a crucial part for me if i don't care about characters i'm not gonna summon for them like i'm still pissed i couldn't pull ellen i'm still pissed bro i want ellen but who knows hold on someone is on the door all right, where was I? Um, oh yeah, I was ranting about something. Why I play the game when I don't like it, quote unquote. So yeah, like I said, I do like the game. I like a bunch of the stuff the game has to offer. I just don't think... Honestly, my major criticism is... There's no auto mode in the, in the fight. The fighting is not interesting enough for no auto mode. And the same thing I, I have with Watering Waves. I think Watering Waves should also have a... Uh auto function anyway this video is getting way too long again <laughs> i always make these videos way too long man i mean that that's it at the end of the day i play whatever the fuck i want i complain about whatever the fuck i want and uh it's still my channel and i do whatever the fuck i want okay yeah we go on that okay perfect let me know what you think about this uh character in the comments below uh or anything else that's on your mind right now uh you could literally just say i like cheese or like I, I want a, I want a cheese grilled sandwich or whatever. Hey, you can just post whatever. I don't care. You know, it helps my videos. You know, reach to more people. You know, engage stuff. Yeah. Cool. That's what it. Take care.